Right, so welcome to this video tutorial on using CSS to format and lay out your website. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be recreating this very basic design, so it's just a simple orange box with some content inside. Um, the sample, if we have a look in the styles, has four styles um, and we'll explore what each of these does throughout this tutorial. So I'll just close that. Now, the first step is to create a new HTML page and as always, save it before you do anything. And as this is going to be the main page in this website, I'll save it as index. Once we've done that, we need to go ahead and create the styles for the layout. So I'll click to add a new style. And when you're doing layout in CSS, we use IDs they fall under advanced so make sure you select the advanced radio button and they all must start with a hash so I'm going to call mine hash container and initially it's going to be defined in a new style sheet file so that means that our styles will be kept in a separate text file from the HTML so we're um, separating our formatting from our content which is good practice I'll click OK and the first step I need to do is save my new style sheet and I'll call it styles and this effectively creates the text file that all the styles will appear in and if you have a look up in the, the CSS tab now see styles.css has appeared with hash container within it so the first thing I'll do here is set that background colour which is about there and then I'll head over to the box category which enables me to set the width and the height of elements and these are pretty common um, when you're creating uh, IDs you will need to set width and often height so once I've done that I'll now just do the border and I'm going to set it as a solid border with a width of 5 pixels and colour orange so I'll click OK and now that style will be created and nothing will happen on the page and that's because we haven't inserted uh, any div tags yet or applied any styles so that's my next step so I'll go up to the common insert menu bar here and click on the insert div tag button and from the ID drop down I'll choose container and there it is so everything seems okay we've got a 5 pixel border in orange with a light orange colouring However, we do need to edit the style because um, if you notice, if I just expand the page here, this is not centered on the web page. So we'll need to go into it to do that. So to edit it, I go up to CSS and I just double click on the hash container and it opens up. And to, to center uh, elements on your page, under box you can go to the margin setting and I'm going to uncheck same for all and then I'm going to set the right and the left margins both to auto. Now if I click on apply rather than OK, if I click on apply it keeps this dialog box open so I can continue to make changes but I can see the updates in the background and there we can see the container has been centered. So the other thing I notice is that the text here, if I go over, is right up against the border and that's never a good look, you don't want things too crowded. So um, I'm going to add some padding. Now padding is the amount of spacing between the content of a box and the border. So in here I'm going to add 20 pixels of padding all around it. Now when I click apply you notice it does put the padding on but it also enlarged the area of the um, container and that's because the total width of an, of an element is the width plus the right and left padding and the height is equal to the height plus the top and bottom padding. So I just need to take off 40 pixels from each of those just to compensate for the stuff I added on. So I'll just add those on and click apply and it goes back to its original size. So I'll just click OK. So the next step is just to add some text for us to format. So the first thing I'll do is put in a heading and then a little bit of text. Just add a list. Now to add a list is down in the properties. I'm just going to add an unordered list that's with bullet points. Done. Okay. 
so now I've got some text we need to, to format. Now what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to select the heading and down in properties I'm going to change the format from paragraph to heading 1. Now that uses the h1 tag in HTML to format that and the advantage of this now is that I can go and redefine that tag using CSS. So if I come over to my CSS panel and add a new style um, I have the option of choosing tag and there's actually a drop down menu here with all the tags that you can modify and there's h1 for us. I'll click OK and it's format it how we want. Go to size 36, bold, and apply. And let's have a quick look. And again, there's the advantage of using apply. I can see those changes. I think that's actually a little bit too big. So I'll just drop down to 24, hit apply again. That's much better. Okay. So what that's done effectively now, by creating this H1 tag, is any time I use that heading 1 format, throughout my website it will change the format so it's consistent with this. Now the other thing I want to do is format the text. Right now I'm using Times New Roman and that's not ideal. Now rather than redefining the paragraph tag which is right now this is sitting inside a paragraph, um, I'm going to actually create my own class and apply it to the paragraph. Now the advantage of this is that if I redefine the paragraph tag it's going to apply that everywhere it sees the P tag whereas if I create a class I can apply it wherever I want it to apply. So over here I will add a new style under class so it would dot class the uh, dot text. And so every class that you create must start with a full stop. Notice as well that um, these styles are being defined by default in styles.css that's the text for uh, text document that we created at the beginning, the style sheet. Click OK. And I'm just going to make this Arial size 14 and click OK. Now nothing changes and that's because we haven't applied that style. So I'll just select all the text there. And when I come down to the properties inspector, there's my style, there's none but text has appeared in that drop down, that's because I put the full stop in there. If I don't put the full stop at the front of the name, it will not appear in this list. I click on that and it has formatted all the text. So the last step really now is to format this list. You see I've still got round bullet points. Now if I want to format um, a list that belongs to the UL, or unordered list tag in HTML, and if I just go to the code view briefly you can see there is my UL tag. I want to format that so that it appears the way I want. So I'm going to come over to CSS and add a new style. I'm going to go to tag and choose UL. Click OK. And under list category I can change the type of bullet point. Now I'm just going to choose square. It's quite nice though if you want to create your own custom ones, you could uh, create them as images and then browse them here. Click OK and it's a little hard to tell but those bullet points are now square. So that pretty much is everything. Just to summarize what we've covered, um, when you're doing layouts this, ex this area that everything's sitting in is an ID and they must start with a hash and we insert those as div tags using the insert div tag button at the top and apply them that way. Things that you'll need to uh, set there will be things like the width and the height, maybe the auto margins, background colors or images. The other things we've looked at are the heading, which we use the H1 tag in HTML, and we can redefine those tags. Now, uh, I would use the tags in CSS um, to redefine particular HTML elements, such as I've used for the unordered list and also the H1. And the last one we used was the class.txt, which we used to format the body text on our website. And I would use classes when I want to apply the style um, to body text or captions or stuff like that. So anyway, I hope that helped, and that's the end of this tutorial.